Hello everyone and welcome to rchelp.com. I'm Tony and today I'm going to show you guys how to properly parallel charge all of your batteries at one time. But they have to match on the S rating. Alright everyone, now I know you guys saw me hold up all these batteries and you're thinking to yourself there's no way that you can parallel charge every single one of these batteries at one time. I mean come on, you got a 200 milliamp, here's a 250 milliamp, 330, an 800, a 1000, and a 1900. I can tell you this, you can parallel charge every single one of these because they are the same voltage, they are the same S rating. But the most important thing on this is make sure that you are within 5% of your voltage from your highest voltage to your lowest voltage. So if you got a pack, say this pack here is at 3.83 per cell and this pack's at 3.86, that's going to be fine. But if this pack is setting at 4.2 volts a cell, you're going to need to discharge the cell, which I don't know why you would because it's already charged. After you hook everything up, you want to kind of let it sit with the balance plugs in and everything so that the, all the voltage can kind of mingle together. It's like making a nice soup. Everything's got to mingle. So all we're going to do is we're just going to start plugging stuff in. And again, make sure these batteries are within spec. Make sure they're within 5% of the voltage from the highest battery to the lowest battery. Now you also notice I got these. These are for my Habu. These two are for my Align 150. Let's plug those in right here. This one is for my 600. This is one of them that I use on my little foamies like the Edge 540. And then this one also used on the foamies. Now with that, we have eight batteries hooked up. You can see the red light right on here, and you can see the green light right here. I assure you, every bit of this is plugged in together. This pair of board for my E-Flight batteries is plugged into my EP Buddy board. And then I got everything plugged in there. Here's your balance wires going into the charger. And here's your main power wires for your first pair of board. All right, so the reason we use the 5% rule in the highest voltage pack and the lowest voltage pack is this battery pack right here. This is an Align 1900 milliamp pack that's used on my 600 Nitro. And it's a 40C pack. This thing can discharge at a rate of 76 amps. However, if we go and we pump 76 amps into this battery, and it will happen if this battery is discharged and this one's charged, it's going to take and it's going to pump as much voltage as it can back into this battery, and it's going to blow this battery up. If you don't follow the 5% and you put in a charge pack and a discharge pack, you're going to blow something up, whether it's going to be your traces and your paraboard or it's going to be your lowest voltage battery. Something's got to give. At the very least, it's going to get hot as hell and it's going to puff. All right, now before you go start packing voltage into these things, we need to figure out what charge rate we can charge this at. And what you need to do is you need to take each pack and you need to add up all the milliamp. This is a 200 milliamp, this is 1900 milliamp, this is a 330 milliamp, this is a 250 milliamp. Add up all your packs and then divide that number by a thousand and then multiply it times two if you're using a 2C rating. If you're using a 1C, then you'll just add up all your milliamps divide by a thousand and that's your charge rate. We have 4800 milliamp total in all of our batteries. At a 2C rate, that's about 9.6 amps. We're going to go ahead and bump that up to 10 amps just to show you it's going to hold it. 2C rate is not that big guys. Some of these battery packs can hold a 5C charge rate. So what we're going to do, I'm going to go ahead and zoom in on this screen here. That way you can see exactly what's going on. Alright, you want to make sure we're on LiPo. Go in here, we're going to raise that up to 10 amps. All right, 7.4 volts. It already automatically detects our, our cell count. Now all we gotta do, hit start. As you can see right up here, 10 amps. Right here's our overall voltage. Hit that button there, and this is our voltage per cell. The reason why this one's flashing is because it's halting the voltage going into it and it's trying to balance this one up to this one. All right, and here you can see we're at one minute right now, 8.26 volts. 
So what we're going to do, we're just going to let this thing charge. I'll come back in here once in a while and kind of give you guys an update of what it's doing. All right, guys, as you can see, we're about five minutes and 50 seconds into this. Our voltage is at 8.39, and we're at 6.9 amps from 10 amps. We put in 915 milliamp, and it keeps rising. Now, one thing, this is the only complaint I have about the eye chargers, is their math isn't quite right. As you can see, we got 8.41. If I go in here and check the cells, that one's fully charged at 4.2, 4.16. That doesn't add up to 8.41. But anyway, our amperage keeps dropping. Our voltage keeps kind of bouncing up and down. What it's trying to do is it's trying to balance that cell right there up to 420. Trying to get both of these cells right at 420. All right, as you can see, we've dropped down to 2.1 amps, where it's still at 8.39 volts. Where we started to balance the cells out. It's still trying to bring this one up. All right, as you can see, we've fallen below one amp. We're at 0.87. We've been running 22 minutes and 15 seconds, and we're at 8.38 volts according to that. However, this says 420 on both of them. Like I said, the math just doesn't add up on these eye chargers, but they're fantastic chargers. So far, we put in 1,640 milliamp. Not too bad considering we got 4,800 milliamp worth of battery. I would like to add, all these batteries were at storage charge at 3.8 volts. All right, guys, so there you can see we're all done with charging. Feel all my battery packs. Not a single one of them is warm. And remember, 200 milliamp and we charged it at 10 amps because we're parallel charging all right guys so there you go as you can see the milliamp hours of a battery does not matter in parallel charging the only thing that matters is you add them all up what matters is the s rating the number of cells per battery every one of our batteries was a two cell battery we had all of them at balance charge right at 3.8 to 3.85 volts but as you saw we had anywhere from a 200 milliamp battery to a 1900 milliamp battery we had 20C batteries all the way up to a 40C battery. The C rating doesn't matter, the milliamps doesn't matter, the voltage is what matters. And as long as you're within 5%, you should be all right. So as always, if you have any questions, guys, come over to the forum and post up. We got a brand new article on how to parallel charge batteries. Come over there and post it. The link is down in the description below this video. If you're already on the forum, head on over to the article section by clicking on that article tab above and post up. I want to thank you guys for watching, and we'll see you guys in the next video.